I decided to make it in traditional way. So I bought this bamboo steamer and the bamboo top and also the pot. A um, hundred years ago or so, uh, they used the clay pot, but we're going to modernize it a little bit. Black beans! So this is Thai banana called Huenawa. It's very sweet, but uh, if you don't have it, you can use any banana you want. It's only 50. <laughs> now I'm buying, a, now, this is a sticky rice. So um, you can probably buy it in a local market or Asia, Isle, Chinatown, maybe. And one kilo gram or 30 baht here. So I want my snacks to have a nice color, so I'm gonna put these um, butterfly pea flowers in it. So just put in the pot and then wait until it has nice color and take them out. And it's also good for you because it's an antioxidant. But you don't, if you don't have it at home, you can just skip this part. In my backyard, so I'm going to cut some banana leaf, and also I'm going to take the banana bark for uh, as a rope to wrap around my. Uh, Here we are. I have all ingredients measured out and let's get started. I'm using this um, large pan, saucepan and an electric hot plate. So we will start with this um, coconut milk, pour it in. So you used all of it, uh, it's 250 ml, then turn the plate on and boil and then heat 160 medium, okay, let it heat up a bit. Why are we waiting? I'm um, using half a cup of sugar. My mom uses a whole cup, but it's too sweet for me. So I'm um, using half a cup. Okay. And two and a half cup of um, sticky rice soaked in the water for two hours. Make sure that sugar is melted. black beans soaked in the water for two hours. So mixed all the ingredients here together until the coconut milk dry out. Also, I'll put these uh, 10, about 10 beautiful flowers and 
colorful flowers in it. And they're good for you too. So I just add, I added the flowers to get the color. So that's, I got enough color there. So I'm gonna take them out. aside to let it cool down okay my rice is cooled enough and here I have 500 grams of bananas cut into small pieces and my banana leaves so I started with a square like this, 20 by 20 centimeters, and then I fold it in half and trim the corners. To make it a nice circle. So don't use fresh banana leaves because it'll crack like this. Okay, so uh, in order to prevent that, I throw them into the microwave for two minutes on a medium and then they come out like rubber, soft and easy to work with. But if you don't have uh, the banana leaves, you can use wax paper, uh, just trim it in the same way. But you don't have to put the wax paper into the microwave. Here I have my banana bark and soaked in the water for two hours to make it soft. And then I'll tear it into small pieces like string. And I'll use it to tie two pieces of my snack together like this. Or you can tie it like this one, one piece, one by one. But I'm going to do it in traditional way. So, in the past, this uh, kind of snack served in important ceremonies like weddings because it symbolizes the strong bond. For example, this one is a man, this is a woman bound together by marriage or it can also symbolize the strong relationship between friends, families or co-workers. So I'll put two pieces of my um, banana leaves together to make it strong and then put two teaspoons of rice in the middle. and following by one piece of banana and press two sides of the banana leaves together like this make sure it's tight and then start to roll the side like this press the rice into the middle Fold one side in and then press one side of the top and another side and fold it in the middle. Turn it upside down. Do the same as the other side. One more.
my heat source ready. Um, I'm going to do it the traditional Thai way with wood and coal. So many people still use this in parts of Thailand, but if you don't have a place to build a fire, you can use any heat source that you have, like uh, on the kitchen stove or the a barbecue if you want to do it outside. So I put seven cups of water into this pot, okay, and then I will put my bamboo steamer on the top and my snack. Put it in there like this. And I also um, use the wax paper to cover this piece. So just to compare to you the result. I will leave it right here for about an hour and check on it once in a while. And again, if you don't have the bamboo steamer, you can use a double boiler or a steamer. If you don't have one, you can probably find it in any department store. It's been a little over an hour. So let's check if they're ready. If the top um, once already, you guarantee the result. And be careful, it's really hot. too hot. So let it cool down a little bit and then we open it. Okay. Now it's cooled down a bit. So um, the way to check is that you uh, can see that the rice is pretty clear here. No white spot in, no white part inside. So it means that this is ready. So I'm just going to put this down and open the top. To let it cool. So <clears throat> now it's time to enjoy it. So I'm going to show you how we eat it here. So uh, start with this one. Take that off. And just wrap it around. <laughs> oh, it's nice. So, this is how to make khao mat or khao pat, a traditional Thai snack. If you like this video, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more uh, videos like this. Uh, this has been Dao Shows You How, and I'm Dao. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Welcome to Dao Show You. <laughs> <laughs>